this is Deadly Laugh coming at you with another episode of The Ultimate Guide to City Skylines. Now, this is taken from my stream, so there'll be some interactions. You'll hear stuff in the background. Usually my kids are lullaby since it's the only time I have to stream that night when they're going to bed. So just, uh, you know, disregard that and just enjoy the gameplay. Hope you learned something. Uh, make sure you hit that subscribe button, turn that bell on. If you want to, drop down in the comments. And uh, let me know what you think about this video. If you like it, give me a thumbs up. Um, and also, link in the description for my Twitch channel. I will see you guys in the rest of the video. Have a good one. Well, hey there, YouTube. Deadly Laugh back with another episode of the Ultimate Guide to City Skylines. This episode, I'm going to go over the DLCs I have installed, uh, which ones we'll be focusing on. Uh, as we move out of the vanilla gameplay, um, up to now what you've seen has been pretty much all vanilla gameplay. You just keep repeating and expanding and doing different things. Um, but there's a few that I can't really not do for DLC because it affects the aesthetics of everything. As opposed to actually how the game is played. Uh, so those are the ones I'm going to highlight here. Um, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to move into, uh, at the end of the video, I'm going to talk about, uh, which ones we're going to focus on going forward, um, to really give you kind of an in-depth look at all the DLC available for Sea Skyline. So let's look at the ones I don't have right now. Deluxe Edition Upgrade, Concerts, European Suburbia, all that jazz. Those, none of those really matter a whole lot about how the game's played. It's, a lot of it's just aesthetic things, so I don't really care. Now let's go through here. I mean, you get more maps and stuff, but you can get a bunch of those from the workshops. So it doesn't really matter. After Dark, a lot of that's just more leisure, more tourism type of stuff uh, that gets opened up. Not a huge impact on the game, especially if you don't play with night mode turned on. Uh, I do a lot of times for this tutorial. I'm not just because it makes it a little easier to show everything. Don't have to wait for those down times of night. I personally love the cities when they look when they're at nighttime. Um, so you know, towards the, throughout the guide, I'll, I'll probably turn on uh, night mode for a little bit. Snowfall. Snowfall affects the game a little bit. Not a whole lot, so I'm not going to go too much into detail. But basically, it gives you some snow maps. Um, and so what that does is you also have to have, like, your road maintenance changes because now you've got to, you know, have, you know, snow plows taking care of the roads. Uh, once you get, like, your third or fourth unlock, you can actually uh, start replacing your piping with heated pipes that will automatically melt the snow on the road and you provide heat for homes and businesses without needing to use electricity so then you can use your policy of only use the pipes to heat the home um, and really save on your electrical costs uh, in a, on a snow map. Uh, other than that, some other snow themed things, it doesn't really impact the game. So um, obviously I'm not on a snow map. I will point those out in the game and show you what they are, um, but won't be using them. Match day. I like this. I got this one because I love sports. I used to play sports all the time when I was younger, and so just being able to like be able to add in sports to the city and really make things vibrant, I, I really enjoy that. I really like that, and so I wanted to bring that back. But again, um, not a whole lot of impact to the game. I mean, sure, it can help your economy, you know, whenever there's a game on and you know, your people are coming in, tourism and stuff like that, and if you're smart about where you place it and then other things around there, you know, it can it can help a little bit, but it's not consistent, and so eh, I'm not, I'm not going to go too much into it. I will point them out because I'm going to add all the, I'm going to add this stuff in. Art Deco, just different types of buildings, um, a lot of unique buildings, a lot, a lot of these DLCs have unique buildings that, that you get with them. Um, you know, and just different style of buildings. Again, not a whole lot that goes into changing the fundamental gameplay. Natural disasters. Now, this does change the gameplay, obviously, because tornadoes and firestorms and whatever. Uh, you got to be prepared for. Uh, I haven't played too much with the DLCs, but since this is the ultimate guide, I will be going into it. Um, I've 
just done a little bit of research in game about what there is available for natural disasters and how to you know cover my city. So what I'll probably do for this one is uh, I'll turn it on. I'll turn the frequency down pretty low. Um, just so like, you know, hey, when one comes along, it's like, oh, let's see what happens and let's manage it. Uh, but, it's, but it just gets repetitive after a while, right? You just got to make sure it's another service when your city expands, just like a new hospital. You put, you know, your disaster stuff down. Um, so I'm not going to go too much in detail there. High-tech DLC, a lot like the Art Deco. You get some really cool, unique buildings. You can do some uh, high-tech housing. You can uh, do a lot of cool, high-tech-y, futuristic-looking stuff with that. Uh, but it doesn't really change the gameplay too much. Um, all right, so this radio station. I think that's kind of self-explanatory. Uh, we have pearls from the east. Uh, this is a lot of, like, parks and unique buildings and and stuff like that that um, really kind of just gives a different um, vibe to the city. And I have to say most of these DLCs I got in a pack. Uh, I probably still would have got this one just because it's cool. Um, waiting for a pack for these other ones because I, I don't really want to buy them as is right now or some kind of sale because they just don't affect the game that much for me to want to go out and get it you know by themselves. Mass Transit. Now, Mass Transit does change the game a whole lot. I've had this since the beginning, and so I'm trying to remember what it's like without Mass Transit. But um, I'm not going to be doing like a specific, hey, here's a Mass Transit video. Uh, just because as the city grows, like I'm going to be adding Mass Transit in. Like Right now, I'm already contemplating where to put bus lines and maybe some trams or... Uh, at least uh, a metro to go around the whole main city part right now. So, um, you know, when I when I put stuff in, I'm going to try and, you know, put all that in, like the metro, the buses, everything at once. So for that video, I can kind of, you know, get into it. But I'm not going to go into the taxis and the shipping and everything because mass transit is pretty...